Bill Snyder, welcome to the Seth Davis Show. Thank you, Seth. What a thrill. Yeah. So happy to be here in beautiful Manhattan, Kansas. My first time to the Little Apple. Is that Apple, right? Wonderful. By the way, so maybe you'll give me a guided tour around town. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it and uh, enjoying sitting down uh, with you. 74 years young. Here, your 22nd season at Kansas State. Of course, this is your, your second time around, but 22 years is uh, quite a stretch. And, you know, the first thing everybody wants to know about you is, has he mellowed? Uh, some people say he has. Your wife says, if anything, he's more intense now than the first time around. Give me a sense of how competitive you are and have you mellowed at, uh, at your age and your stature in the profession. That's a good question. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know, Seth. I, you know, I just, I am who I am uh, and try to be that way. Uh, I've, you know, reflecting back on it right now as we speak, I, I doubt if I have. Uh, I think my wife's probably <laughs> correct as she is most of the most of the time uh, I, I think there are certain things that you you know you adjust perhaps or change and uh, to a certain degree anyway and you know that might be considered to be mellowing but you know I, I would try to do things because I believe they're the right things to do and uh, you know I, I don't know how people perceive that so. well certainly you knew this would be a rebuilding season for you you lost a lot of players last year um, so the season got off to a difficult start. So one of the gauges of that is how you process losses. Do losses hurt as much as they did 20 years ago? Well, I think so. You know, I'd, uh, and I've always believed this. I, you know, you have to get over it. The degree of discomfort or pain, if you will, you know, that, that one suffers uh, through, in this case, losing a football game, you know, is relative to life so much, you know, and, and to me it's about your investment, you know, and things that are really significant to you, that are important to you, you make a greater investment, and if it's not successful, then the pain is, is greater. And if you're not suffering a little bit with, mm. you know, losses or whatever else in life that uh, takes place, you know, you don't get a job you want or uh, you know, a variety of different things that can happen in your own personal lives and do happen in your own personal lives, yours, mine, everybody else's. And, you know, if we put a great investment in it, I mean, of, of time and effort and emotion and feeling, and it's unsuccessful, then, you know, there's a great deal of pain. I've always said, you know, if you, you know, if you lose a ball game and you, and you didn't uh, suffer from that emotionally, then uh, you probably didn't make the investment that was necessary to have success to begin with. Most coaches I talk to will say that the, lo the losses hurt more than the wins feel good, which I, I always thought was kind of a, I understand it, but I think mm -hmm. it's kind of a sad commentary on the, on the profession. I have empathy for coaches who express that. Have you, can you relate to that? Well, you know, I can, and I, uh, and I agree with you. You know, I feel, I feel badly about it, but that's the direction that college athletics has gone. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, a, it's about this, it's about TV, it's about dollars and cents, and uh, that is translated from wins and losses, and you know we've lost uh, uh, you know the concept that uh, uh, college athletics is a uh, is a prominent platform for developing young people to become successful in life, and that it is part of an educational system, but only a part of an educational system. And, you know, when, when that goes by the wayside, then you've got some of the issues we talk about that create some of the feelings you're talking about. Your work ethic is legendary. We're going to talk a lot about this. Nobody gets in earlier, nobody stays later, and nobody sleeps less than Bill Snyder. That's, that's the, the platform that, that we jump off from. So just how, much, how many hours of sleep did you get last night? Well, I don't know. I may have four or five. Four or five? Mm -hmm. So and what time did you get at the office this morning? Oh, probably about 6.30. 6 so you get in 6.30 and what time do you usually leave? Mm -hmm. Very probably around 11. 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, by the way, I should add, nobody eats less than Bill Snyder. You look great, by the way. You look very thin. I don't know if you I'll, tell, I'll teach you about green juice later on, but uh, that supposedly you, you skip meals because it's easier to work through lunch well, and work through dinner. You know, Is that it's, overblown? It's kind of, no, it's not, <laughs> really. It's, uh, it's interesting. I, 
and not that I don't enjoy food because I do and I and I enjoy eating you know but you know when I was when I first started in the profession and and that's you know I was under the misnomer that you could outwork people and you really can't I mean it's I, I'm just slower than most that's why I have to work a little bit longer <laughs> but uh, you know when I first started in the profession even as a high school coach you know I, I realized that you know there were periods of time that you know you could really get a lot done because people weren't you know, bombarding you with a, a lot of issues and concerns and, and questions, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I'd never been a breakfast eater mm. in my life. I just didn't grow up that way. I, I grew up like most young people did. I, I was one of those young guys that, uh, you know, had to walk seven miles to school uphill both ways in the snowstorms and all that uh, <laughs> kind of stuff. But I did have to walk quite a ways to, to, get, to uh, get to school, high school anyway. And, you know, I would, uh, like, young college students today, you know, I won't sleep as late as I could and, and consequently I would uh, uh, not have time for breakfast. So mm -hmm. I never ate breakfast and then when I uh, started coaching I realized that that noon hour everybody, you know, was gone and, and I really got an opportunity to get work done. So I, I stopped eating, eating lunches and then uh, same thing happened with dinners and I stopped eating dinners and so my meal schedule is one meal a day and it's extremely late at night you know it's normally when I get you know when I get home and the, uh, which is, is fine with me I don't have a problem with it but if I ever try to eat uh, during the day it just makes me sluggish and, and tired I don't sleep in the day at daytime but uh, it causes me some discomfort that way